Welcome to another edition of In Your Face. Uh, I'm Will Strike along with Vic Bardelli and Danny Barster. Um, today we will be discussing base basketball and baseball. Um, KD left the Oklahoma City Thunder to play alongside Steph Curry with the Golden State Warriors. What do you think, Vic? I think this is an absolute terrible move. I don't care if he's getting paid Mike Conley's contract. This is selfish and arrogant. He he should have stayed with Oklahoma City Thunder. He has Russell Westbrook. He has Andre Robinson. He has great players around him, but it's his fault. He choked in the playoffs, and now he's going to leave to the team that beat him. The best team already in NBA history, a 73-9 team. What is he thinking? Danny? I, I like Mike Conley. Conley reference, um, ridiculous signing, five years, 153 million. Anyways, my, my view on this case is that um, Kevin Durant can go wherever he wants. He's a player, and whichever team gives you the most money gets you, gets you, or you can pick whichever team you want. This is this is the the freedom that every NBA player gets. And if he, if he has a chance to play with Golden State, how's he going to turn that down? I, I don't blame him for turning that down myself. They had the money for him and they are willing to pay that money to get Kevin Durant. So I think it's completely fair. Uh, next, one of the greats of all time, Barry Bonds. He's not into the Hall of Fame. What do you think? I think um, he, might, he may enter the Hall of Fame, but I, I really hope not because the, the, the steroid use is obvious for him. The, the, you see how lately, you hear how lately, um, MLB analysts are saying, well, probably a lot of people use steroids in this era. Therefore, Barry Bonds should be in. However, I think anyone that you have absolute proof that you took steroids should not be in the Hall of Fame because you know he cheated. If you don't know Mike Piazza cheated, he he has every right to be in the Hall of Fame. So I, I, was, I was fine with Mike Piazza being in the Hall of Fame. But a player like Barry Bonds, who we know is on the roids, on the juice, he should not be in the Hall of Fame. All, I have to disagree with that because he was a great player. Even if he didn't take steroids, he could have been a top five or one hitter, maybe not number one. I mean, he had a great career with Pittsburgh when people, when he wasn't necessarily a home run hitter on that team. Uh, he had a great career with the Giants. I mean, uh, it wasn't just all home runs for him. I mean, he was actually a very decent um, players in other categories. I just think that he should get in because he has God-given talent. I mean, maybe the steroids could have boosted his ratings, but I just doubt it. Oh, I, I, I agree. He was a very talented player, and he he stole many bases. He he could hit doubles and triples, and he was talented in many things. However, he cheated, and his cheating cannot be accepted in the Hall of Fame. It's, it's just not right what he did. Taking steroids is a disgrace to the game of baseball. And you you're, you got to respect the game of baseball. You're, you're a role model for young kids who are coming up from Little League. And they're going to see that this guy gets in the Hall of Fame after taking steroids. I think it's absolutely nuts. I mean, it's possible for, that, for him to get in. But I mean, he's still enrolled. I think that he should get in just because he's like uh, a great player. Um, Without the steroids, I think he just still would have been a great home run hitter. How do you how do you know that he would have been a great home run hitter? Because he had he had around 25 home runs a year with Pittsburgh, and he he had he had a couple of years before you know we thought he went on the, the Royce. So, you know he had a few a few great years, but but that's not a career. That's not a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Famer has a consistent career of great season after great season after great season. He took steroids in the midst of that season for a huge chunk of his career. Therefore, you do not know what he would have been. Do you think that he just took steroids when he got to the Giants? Or do you think that maybe it was two or three years in because he really wanted to be in the Hall of Fame or something? I, I, I think a player has many temptations to take steroids. Everyone wants to be the best. It, to be the best is the, the greatest feeling of all for a baseball player with such pride like Barry Bonds. And I think the way he got there is really unfair. All right, gentlemen, thank you for your opinions. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in. In your face. See you tomorrow.